go through my budget for the seventh here. So I, what I do is I, on each payday, we get paid every other week. On each payday, Corey gives me a thousand dollars. And this is just my budget, not our family budget, because Corey takes care of that on the computer. So what I do is I mark down a thousand dollars right up here. I think you can see that, hopefully. I'll try to zoom in a little bit more there. This is still kind of new for me for filming budgeting, so it's kind of difficult. So what I do for income here is I put down a thousand here, and then right underneath that I have extra change, which is the change that I either found laying around the house or just change that I had left over from my envelopes. So this is $20 worth of change right here. So I put these in little baggies once I collect $10 worth. I put them in $10 baggies, so I've got two of those. So that's 20 extra income here. And then down here, so I had two envelopes that I rolled over and I had $84 left from my cash envelopes. So that was really awesome. So I put that in here, so it's $84. And I'm gonna add that in my incoming income as well as my January challenge, which is $21. And my Kohl's return that I got, I returned two pairs of jeans, got 34 bucks back, plus my extra income that I had saved up over the last two weeks, which was $87. So that will go, all of this is a total of 226 and that is going to go in my bank tomorrow. So this is highlighted in pink right here on payday. These items I highlighted in pink will be paid with this payday. These in blue are the previous payday as well as this one here, anything before this payday or highlighted in blue before the next payday is paid on the previous payday before. So the one in January, the end one in January. Now this payday then pays the things highlighted in blue. And then anything in March, which is these two right here, would be paid with this payday. This book is by It's the Budget by Paycheck workbook, and this is by the Budget Mom. Make sure you put the Budget Mom because there's a different, but just Budget Mom out there. But this is the Budget Mom, TBM. She is awesome. She has lots of YouTube videos out there, and she has a lot of free printables. I purchased this PDF, and I just printed it here at home. And there's so many. If you look at my first video on my budgeting, I go through and show you each page of these and tell you what they're for. This booklet, I just bought these. Well, actually I had these. I originally purchased this on Amazon. I will link these down below. These are so cute, they're, they're metal. So they're really, really nice, sturdy, really nice sturdy ones and they're really big and they fit this workbook budget, this budget by paycheck workbook really nicely. So I have everything in here. And then I just laminated the cover from the PDF and I, punched it and then I just had I had these stickers in there I probably won't use them I'll probably tear those out of there and then there is a folder that I had laying downstairs that I just keep some envelopes in here and then I have sheets that okay this sheet guys is I'm using this for something other than what it was meant for so what I want to try and figure out is how often I go through certain things. So dog food, how often do I need to put this in my budget and when do I need this to have the money saved up by? So I I put, we opened the dog food at, on 126 and now I'm going to put on when we open the next bag. So I can kind of guesstimate, I feed my dogs exactly the same amount well, each one have their same amount that they eat, and that's we have it measured out. We have a, the measuring scoops in there. So we use the same amount every single day, twice a day. They get fed twice a day. When this, when we get this for a couple months, it should be pretty darn accurate because we do feed them the same amount. And that will help me figure out when I need to budget for. As you can see, for this month, I had to actually save out the full amount of our dog food, $47. It's 46 something. So I saved up 47. So that's a big chunk to save out of one paycheck. So, so when I get this figured out, 
when I figure out how often I need it, then I will be able to budget within two paychecks and save out like 22 or $23 each time instead of 47. And the same thing with toilet paper. When we buy our next toilet paper, I'm gonna jot it down, actually I already did, so I'll jot that down here, and I'll know how long our toilet paper lasts because those are just things that I like to know. How often do I have to budget for these? You buy the huge thing of toilet paper and they're 20 some bucks, so you don't wanna take that out of household when you only have 50 saved up. And this is my savings challenge. So I saved up $21 in January. Now, rem now remember, I just started this budget thing on January 18th. So this $21 is just from the 18th through the 31st. February, I should have more. Now, assuming I can save out 25 every week, because that's this challenge is saving out 25 every week. Something else that I'm doing differently this month than I did last month, because I didn't do a full month last month, so I couldn't really start this, is a monthly spending sheet. So this is for February, like on the first I spent nothing, the second I spent $62.26, the third I spent $75.95, but I also got refunds for $68.97. And then, so that kind of, that was a good trip into town. I got all those refunds and then I spent $5.97 on the fourth. My grocery money, I ended up having $48.08 left. So I took that and I put it into my extra saving. What I did was I broke down every receipt. I, I saved every single receipt, put it in a little pack. All of my receipts for the whole entire two weeks, I save everything, everything I bought. And if I forget a receipt, I just simply write it on, on a sheet of paper like that if I forget to ask for one. That way I know and it's counted for. This is 124 paycheck. I keep them until I have everything marked in my book. So I went through every single one of these and I broke it down to see where my money is going, that where that $400 is going. And guys, I got a big surprise. Starbucks was at one of the highest ones at $36.89. However, the highest one, okay, so then the Grand Babies, I spent $18.86. Nick, $37 on books, and those were both on books. Shipping was eighteen ten, Subway was forty three sixteen. That's mainly Nick, but like I said, I give him a fifty dollar gift card. Household was seven oh seven. Gas was thirty, which was I saved out fifty. But I remember I put twenty out of my envelope for the January challenge. You're supposed to take the challenge money out of your envelopes, so I, that's where I got the twenty from. The other eating out was eighteen sixty five. And that was just Wendy's and um, Taco John's for Nick. Grocery total was $364.29. Now I went even further and I broke down our grocery. And this is what I came up with. So our highest ones would be the junk food. This is things like things we don't really need per se, like um, pretzels and, oh gosh, um... Muffin, I get Nick some healthy, healthy muffins from the health food store, that sort of thing. And those are $1.99 a piece. But I just got a bunch of those for him, put them in the freezer and stuff. And then um, any kind of potato chips or any kind of junk food like that. Fruit, now this is our grand total way over here, $100.88. That was by far our highest which is good that it's fruit that's the highest. Our veggies only came to 2201, but I did have a lot of veggies in the freezer that we were using up. So this will, I expect this to be higher next time. Other meats, 1095. Again, we had a lot of stuff in the freezer that we were using. That's why it kind of worries me that, um, you know, I'm going to have to cut down on the junk food and stuff because I know these will be higher next time. Bread and buns, we spent 638 in two weeks. Peanut butter was 943. Yogurt, ten eighty seven. Water was eleven oh six. Diet soda was twenty five ninety five. That I know I could improve. Velveeta cheese was three fifty eight. Pumpkin was six fifty four. We always get canned pumpkins to make our muffins, so that's where that's coming from. Oatmeal was eight ninety eight. You get ten pounds at Sam's Club for eight ninety eight. We just bought the one. Eggs were four ninety nine. Now we can do better on this too because. Um, we had a bunch left over from the farmer's market from last time, so that's why that's so low. I'm definitely expecting that to go up this next time. 
canned beans we had just bought one and, and again we had a lot of stored canned beans in the cupboard and then flavor water for Nick was $14.95 so that is where and then we had some a couple pizzas for Nick too that's where that's coming in at so I, I broke this down and it's very very helpful things I need to work on again would be Starbucks in the junk food section by far but the other ones are they look okay I think so I just I mean I'm I'm gonna do that next week again as well because it's really helpful to find out where my money is going I just wanted to do a closer up view so you could see what was going on in here so these are my incoming income a total of 1246 this is the actual amount this amount is what I thought maybe would be going on but this is what actually did go on so we're going to look at this column right here so 1246 and then I have smarty pig payments coming out two of those Nick's subway for 50 cricket for 25 that is my sister's phone I pay for her phone for her because otherwise I'd never be able to talk to her and um, epidemic sound for 15 Maurice's my last payment of 912 that is already made and taken out so I got to put a check mark there 2304 for the gym audible was 17 1577 YouTube premium 1898 of course bookish was 52 but that is now canceled Kohl's was 58 for the minimum I, I looked it up I thought it was around 60 but it was definitely 58 for the minimum and then the checking cushion is going to be 30 and then that left me with 963.09. I hauled that down here. And these are my envelope money, which I will be taking you through and stuffing those envelopes with you. That will leave me with 291.09. We will bring that up here. And this is my sinking funds here. So then I have my desk chair, toothbrush heads, printer ink, protein powder, and the grandbabies, nothing right now. I will catch up with them later. So that was a total of 39. And then 25209 is what that left me. Call that down here. Cole's payment was 20209. That left me with 50. And I like to have something in my extra savings envelope. So that left me with 50 in there. And I'm doing a zero base budget. So that is everything. That totals 1246, which was exactly what my income was. Now I'm going to show you, here is my envelope money and how I took that out. So you can kind of see what I did with this. And this is the extra checking that I took out of our family checking and put it into my personal checking to pay all of those things. That was a thousand total. And then I added it on to these little sheets and I took it into the bank. And she absolutely loves these things, the teller does. So that is very helpful for them. And there's my comment. I just noted that I canceled Bookish T-shirt shop early and I saved $52, added this to the Kohl's charge as payment, which I did. I do keep a little change box here. Let me pull you up. I keep this little change box here and what I do with this, with my cash envelopes, I do not keep change in them. So for example, let's take out my grocery money. So I should have 5605 in here. I won't have the 05. The 05 will be in this little container here. So I just I will just have 56 in here. So that's 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's 56 that I have in here. And then, like I said, the change is always in this container. Everything I spend, all of my receipts here, are transferred to the expense tracker. This is everything I spent in the last two weeks. This is on my checking account. And then this is cash spending. This is from... February 1st to now, which is February 6th. So as you can see, I had a lot of cash spending going on in here. And then this is my checking account from the 1st of February. I do from the 1st to the 31st on the tracking. It's just more helpful to have just one month and I'll be able to tell, you know, what that is. So that's where I come up with that. Now, the Budget Mom has all kinds of YouTube videos on how to do this and what to put in it. 
and how to get your starting total up here. Everything is laid out for you on her YouTube channels. I don't want to go through all that because it would take forever on my channel. But she goes through all of that information. All right, guys, I'm sitting at the bank right now, and I just took out my cash for this two weeks, and I will show you what I'm going to do with this. All right, guys, I have... I just found a Best Buy card that has $15 on it, and I have a Starbucks card with $15 on it. So I'm putting those in my wallet to use. So last night I was trying to, you know, I was looking through my budget, trying to figure out how can I save even more money? Well, I figured out a way to save even more money. Let me show you what I did. I redid my budget just a little bit and I am now paying $202.09 on my Kohl's card. I wanted to show you I made a Kohl's payment of $202.09. I thought I'd better make it and get it out there so I can't spend it on anything else and change my mind. But I'm so proud about that payment. That is just um, saving up for two weeks. That is all I had to save up for. And then we will see how next paycheck goes, how much I will be able to pay at the end of this paycheck. So I'm planning on paying this twice a month. Now this is not including the minimum payment, so I will be adding another $58 onto this. So that's made. And the reason I was able to do that is because I rolled over envelope money for $84. I think I showed you that. And so I put it all towards my Kohl's charge card and I am getting that out of the way. Totally getting it out of the way. I also, canceled my bookish t-shirt early. So I did not have this $52 charge coming out. So I crossed that out. I don't need any more clothes. So I thought I'm gonna just cancel it now, save this $52 and put that towards the Kohl's charge as well. So that's what I did, plus the minimum payments coming out. So I'll, do, I'll be making another $58 payment before the 20th. So that will be coming out as well. Got my cash out of the bank. So we're going to be, this is the 20 that was the change that I showed you, the two bags of change. So that's the 20 for that. That will be going in my checking account because I got this out of our family checking account. So I've got my cash envelopes here and I've got each one with their slip in here, the new slip. So I've got all of those in there. We'll start out with grocery. So I had planned, let me get this in piles here. There, now we have those all in correct piles. I think you can see that all. Hopefully you can see it all. So we're gonna start out with groceries and I chose to have one $100 bill, two 50s, and 10 20s. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that brings me to $400 inside my grocery money. So that is all set in there. I didn't carry over any, so that's all that's in there is the $400. And I'm going to go ahead and put that back in my wallet. And move on to the next one, which is miscellaneous. So miscellaneous is $25. And I am choosing to take out five five dollar bills. One, two, three, four, five. So that's twenty five, and that will go into my miscellaneous. And I did not roll over anything in that one. It went up by five from last time because I needed a little bit extra. I actually used it pretty quickly on things and then I didn't have anything left. So I'm I'm upping it by five to see if that helps a little bit. Pet food, I know I have 47 and then I got them in denominations of 220, one five and two ones. 
So that's 20, 30, 45, 46, 47. That will buy one bag of dog food for us. Then I needed to take out that full amount because I forgot about this envelope. So I didn't take out any last week. Now personal, I have 25. I upped that by five as well because this was gone pretty quickly. So I upped that by $5. And let's see, what do I have in personal? I had two tens and one five. So we're gonna do two tens and one five. And that goes in my personal money. Throw that in my wallet. In beauty, I have 40 for this one. And I have four tens. 10, 20, 30, and 40. And I did roll over 70 from the previous week. So here's 70 in here now. And then I'm gonna add 40 more to that because we both have hair stuff coming up. Nick and I both do. So I wanted to make sure I had enough in there. And I will probably always roll over my beauty money because I always need shampoo or something along those lines at some point. So until I get used to what we use, I'll continue to roll that over. Okay, I got a phone call. But I think I was at my household money here. So with household, I did not change that amount because we had extra left over that I got to roll over and pay on my charge card. So I left that the same and I chose 120, two tens, and two fives. So that was 50 in household. Eating out, I kept at 20, and hopefully we're gonna keep it at less than that. And that I had just two tens. So that goes into my wallet. And gas, I had 50. And that seemed to work out pretty good last time. So we'll keep it at 50. And I had two 20s, two 10s. No, two 20s, one 10. And that is guest money, so that is 50. I have to learn how to count first. Okay, now we go on to our sinking funds. So my sinking funds are my desk chair for 25. And for that one, oh, I had another envelope that I needed to make, which was my shipping. So I had 15 for shipping. Um, so I'm gonna take 15 and set the 15 aside and I have to make a shipping envelope that will be going in my wallet as well. So I'll, I'll take that out right away too. So my desk chair is 25 and I just took a 20 and a five because that's just gonna be stored in this envelope. I should, now in this envelope right now, I should have 25 in here. So yeah, so 25 and then my desk chair is actually $50. So I have enough now to order my desk chair off of Amazon and I will be doing that. Now, because I saved this last month, I'm going to have to bring over 25 as incoming income for this month because I'm, I'm using only 25 of it this month, but this 25 I saved from last month. So I will have to add that over as incoming income. So I'll be doing that. And then toothbrush heads, we just saved $2 and we have $2 in there already. So I'm just going to add two more dollars to that. And then I will pick this up at Sam's Club once we reach the limit. It's like $42 or something for a set of them. So once we reach that, I will order those on, or I will get those at Sam's Club. 
nothing for the grandkids right now. We're going to be going over there hopefully in April to babysit. So I'm just going to be um, setting some money aside and checking. And plus the kids owe me a little bit. So I will be using that. This is something that's new. I started this paycheck protein powder. I have 16 in there. However, I'm only going to put 10 in there right now because we don't have enough to put the full 16 in there. So I'm just going to put a 10 in there as of right now. Printer ink is $2 and this is new as well. So I'm just going to stick $2 in there. This, this should go all year and it will be enough to buy ink for next year. Usually our ink lasts us almost a full year. So those are all of my sinking funds. I'm going to put those back in my drawer. Then we go on to uh, extra savings was 50 and I just have five tens for that. 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. And that goes in my that goes in my extra savings envelope. However, I'm going to pull all of this out of here because I have this 226 ready to go into my bank. So that will go over with this extra 20 that I had. So I'm going to stick that all aside and put the 50 for this paycheck in here. So that is all set. I'll put that over on my sinking funds. And I think that is all of the money that I had. Now I should have $239 left over to put into the bank. So let's count and make sure I got that. There's two, 20, 30, 5, 36, 37, 38, and 39. So 239 will also go into my bank. So then what I will be doing on here is adding that to my checking account total. So I will be doing a deposit of 398. And so I, I can write this in here. I'm, I usually write it in purple. And hopefully that's right so I don't have to use white out when I double check it, but I think it is. So 293, see I already goofed up. $398. Oh, I hate it when I mess up. Okay, so 398. And this is going to be on two seven, and this is cash to checking. And then I have a bunch of coupons that I had clipped out and they're all in there ready to go for my grocery haul. I also wanted to mention that I stick all of my things from my envelope in I just rubber band it to these. I keep these for a, I'm going to be keeping these for a year just in case something weird comes up and I need to look back on something. I have all of my receipts that I use for the two weeks and my cash envelope things. So I just wanted to mention that as well. And I've got my money ready to go into my bank account. So that's $484. I forgot about the actual money that was in the extra savings envelope to start with. So I had to add that up there too. So that was nice to have the 484. Of course, like I said, I didn't want to white anything out. Now I have to white something out because this should be 484, not 398. That's all I have for you today, guys. I hope this helps and I will talk to you guys next Friday for an update on how I am doing so far halfway through this paycheck. Bye guys. I'm not heading for the stars, driving down the boulevard tonight. Playing, co-play on repeat Watching people on the street as I go by